The following is the second introduction to Math 241, Trigon 3. In this uh, introduction, we will introduce to you or uh, inform you about Pythagorean triples. Now, what is Pythagorean triples? Now, suppose we have a right triangles whose lengths are the lengths of uh, the legs are A and B, and the length of the hypotenuse is given by C. Now, uh, then uh, let's uh, do the following. Now, if from this graph here, if uh, A is less than or equals to B, which is definitely less than C, um, satisfy A, B, C satisfies satisfy uh, Pythagorean theorem where a squared plus b squared equals to c squared okay so somehow we uh, purposely assign a to be the smaller one or at most equals to b and both of them for sure is less than c now suppose uh, this abc satisfy this pythagorean theorem then we s uh, introduce to you uh, a triple i use this notation here uh, we call that the wedge a b c this wedge is say to be Uh, Pythagorean triple okay so what we call Pythagorean triple is when uh, if you have that triple the square of A plus the square of B equals to the square of C okay that's what we meant by Pythagorean triple there's nothing really uh, to say about this Pythagorean triple but um, I, there's, there's something quite important about any Pythagorean triple that we want to uh, inform you here. Now, uh, let's, let's put some numbers into this. For example, we know from example one in our first introduction that uh, if you have a right triangle, and this is three, this is four, then this one will be five, right? In other words, we know that three squared plus 4 squared equals to 5 squared right that's that's known now that implies that 3 comma 4 comma 5 is a Pythagorean triple okay as long as it satisfies uh, Pythagorean theorem then those three numbers uh, is a Pythagorean triple but remember that we write them in ascending order okay now let's see another example suppose I have this suppose I have this right triangle here uh, this right triangle here suppose uh, this is 13 and suppose this is 12 and this is my x here <coughs> Uh, we will find what is x and then later on we express that as a triple okay now we know that uh, this will be x squared plus 12 squared equals to 13 squared x squared plus 144 equals to 169 so x squared equals to 169 minus 144 x squared equals to 25 x equals to 5 now from there, we say so, now 5 is the smallest, right, let me put it there, 5 is, is the smallest and 13 is the largest, so we write it this way, 5, 12, 13 is a Pythagorean triple. Now, what I want to emphasize from this introduction is actually not about the triple, it's about the, uh, 
what's good thing about the trade power? Uh, this this is the note. Any multiple of a triple, or to be more precise, of a Pythagorean triple. is also a triple a Pythagorean triple Pythagorean triple okay now for example <coughs> we know that uh, 3 4 5 is a triple right let me just call that a triple instead okay now let's say we multiply this by 2 which is uh, 6 8 10 okay we want to show that this is also a triple okay now you see that 6 squared plus 8 squared equals to 10 squared okay there's 36 plus 64 equals to 100 100 equals to 100 okay okay so any multiple of a triple is a triple now i can give you a little a proof here a proof of that statement the proof of that uh, the n uh, let let a b c be a triple uh, we will show that n a a multiple of if you multiply each one of them there by n is also a triple and when I say multiple here it doesn't have to be an integral multiple it doesn't have to be twice of that three times of that it could be 0 0.5 of that or 0 0.3 of that okay now let's see uh, if it is a triple then it must satisfy this and a b quantity squared plus and b quantity squared and I want to show that at the end this leads into in c quantity squared okay now this is n squared a squared plus n squared b squared right okay and then i factorize the n squared <coughs> now you see that a squared plus b squared from our assumption is a triple so a squared plus b squared must be c squared right which means this is n c quantity squared okay therefore we have proven that we have proven that uh, n a and b and n c is a triple okay now you may wonder uh, what is the purpose of uh, knowing a triple so what if it is a triple well because then all the multiple of that is a triple some basic uh, common basic triple I will give you four that show up very often the first one is uh, three four five we have seen that at least three times the second one is five twelve thirteen we have seen that at least twice and then the, the others like 7, 24, 25, 8, uh, 15, 17. Uh, those are basic triples that uh, I suggest you to memorize this. Okay, I suggest you to memorize this, especially the first two. Okay, that shows up quite common. Uh, the other two, the last two, not so common. Of course, we have a lot more triples, uh, but uh, the rest are not quite common. Now, once we know basic triples, then uh, you will see that multiple of them 
will be also triples. Uh, for example, if I multiply it by 2, this is like 6, 8, 10. It's a triple. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, also, if you want, you can do a 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. That's also a triple. Okay. Now, like this one here, suppose, uh, mm, let's say we want to multiply by 3. Yeah, okay, then uh, 15, 36 and then 39 is also a triple okay uh, if you multiply by 3 or if you want you divide the, this thing here by 10 that will be 0 0.5 1.2 and 1.3 is also a triple okay uh, yeah now uh, so 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 using this knowledge suppose that i have for example I have this right triangle here and it is given to us uh, that that this is a 9 and this is a 12 now what is this of course you can use Pythagorean theorem okay to solve that that's one way you do 9 squared plus 12 squared equals to x squared blah 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 like that and you'll get the answer but another way to see it is this okay you see that oh this is 3 times 3 this is 3 times 4 so the one here must be 3 times 5 right the 3 4 5 triple you see what I mean so we do expect that later on we will see that x equals to 15 okay now another one another one this may be even harder to see suppose I have a right triangle like this and let's say this is uh, 1.7 this is 1.5 and let's say this is X <coughs> again you can use Pythagorean theorem x squared plus 1.5 squared equals to 1.7 squared okay, and then from there you solve it you get the x right now on the other hand you see that this is actually coming from 15 right this is 15 divided by 10 this is 17 divided by 10 if you remember that triple then it must be 8 divided by 10 right so uh, using computation and the knowledge of this triple it enables us to get the answer a lot faster okay now you may say uh, do I have to memorize this uh, put it this way do you have to do the same thing all over again right if you know that you're gonna see these numbers repeatedly either these basic triples or all the multiple of that, some multiples of that, uh, then how about knowing it without computing it? Okay? Uh, because in class later on, we don't want to go back to this basic Pythagorean theorem again and again and again, right? Uh, repeatedly. You know, if you memorize some basic numbers, some basic triples, it will make not only you being faster, it will make the whole class be faster also. Imagine that the whole class knows these basic triples and not you. Uh, we will not be waiting for you to compute it. Okay? Uh, and at that time, either you feel embarrassed or you feel discouraged because you are behind. You think you are behind, but no, you are actually not behind. You just simply don't memorize this. But if you don't memorize that it's going to slow you down and eventually you will be behind okay discouraged and behind uh, so my suggestion uh, try to memorize these basic triples and once you know these basic triples uh, once you can see this it will be very uh, beneficial for you okay now this is for the math 241 trigonometry the second introduction in which we discuss Pythagorean triples